ladies and gentlemen. Too loud. Da 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 da. You do, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Storage Podcast. I'm your host, Libby Higgins. And guess what, folks? Not only do we have the much anticipated sis back on the show. And not only are we outdoors in beautiful Pilot Grove, Missouri, but we also have a live studio audience. And I don't know if you can hear them, but they were clapping so loud it almost sounded like this. Don't put it that far back, sis. Nobody will be able to hear. For some reason, sis wants to put the mic here and then go like this. Well, I think it, I, like an opera singer, it pushes my voice out from the stomach when I lean in on my pants. Well, you don't because we can barely hear you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, came to visit, and of course, my sister lives in Pilot Grove, Missouri, and uh, my brother's here. My sister is here, and my sister-in-law is here, and my niece is indoors because she's a child. And sis always talks about, you know, licking buttholes and all no, that stuff. No, you bring it up. I don't want to discuss those things. And we're not doing that in front of a, a child, basically. Or me. And I can smell the aroma of what's called Marijuana. Um, it is legal here in Missouri, not federally, of course. So if the feds were to show up right now, someone in the live audience would be arrested. And I'm not going to say who it is. I'm trying. What did they used to call it back in the 70s? Like uh, the Mary Jane, the Green Leaf. I don't remember what it's called. They used to say, let's r- roll up a doobie. Yeah, let's roll up a, roll up a doobie. Uh. Oh. Oh. And as you can see, Sis has some of Tina's merch. That's one thing about uh, Sis is she she loves supporting people's merch. And I had to wear her shirt every day since she got here because she got pissed because she didn't see my her shirt yeah, on me all the time. Yeah, because sometimes I'll I'll come over and she'll inevitably inevitably be wearing um, Chelsea Lynn Chelsea Lynn shirt. Yes, and I appreciate her supporting my friends, but come on. Um, but these are real fancy, so I don't like to wash them that much. And I'm wearing the uh, Need Any Goats. And I bought one of those, shirt. but I can't find it. Yeah, she was going to wear it, and my brother has one apparently, and he was going to wear it. But nobody can find it because they don't, they don't actually care about me. Huh? Oh, it's on the couch. Well, if you have it, you should wear it for the show. We will, at the top of the hour, be having... Uh, my brother on here, and he's known as the Pilot Grove Bad Boy. So just get ready for that because this is going to be too hot for YouTube, folks, when you get the Pilot Grove Bad Boy on the scene. (laughs) What have you been doing this weekend, sis? Um, uh, We went to some doctor's appointments on Friday and then um, came and picked you up at the airport. We ate at the Lion's Choice. Um, what did we do yesterday? Oh, hung out at the farm in the yard. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what else did we do? We did something else. Uh, sat by the fire. Um, uh, I, I'm trying to think. Did we go out to? Oh, we get ate, ate, We ate Mexican today. That was delicious. And, um, yeah, that's about it. That's right. Uh, we went to the farm where my mother, my mom used to own, uh, well, my mom, when she was alive, owned a farm with my stepfather that my father, uh, stepfather had, has cattle. Is it cattle? I don't know. If it's made for, if it's made for beef, is it called cattle? 
cattle. That's that's horses. Is it cattle of horses? I don't know. He they eat grass. I know that he promotes them as grass-fed horse cows and bulls. Well, whatever they are, they're animals, and yes. they're out there. So that was the first time that all I don't of us associate with them. Who cattle? Yes, because I know where they're going. Oh, I know it's terribly sad. But is that going to stop me from eating a delicious, juicy steak at Colton Steakhouse? The oh, other night? That, yeah, we did go to Steakhouse yesterday. Colton Steakhouse, and it was uh, in Sedalia, Missouri. Yes. Can you imagine people driving by and seeing this set up out here and think we're doing a garage sale at night? I don't think anybody will actually drive by. Somebody just drove by. Well, don't get angry with me because someone drove by. I'm, get, she, I'm getting Sis angry is, because this is said, very narcissistic. She thinks everybody's looking at her at all times. Well, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> Who are you looking at? I'm looking at myself in oh. the camera. <laughs> I'm just trying to, because I've had so many technical difficulties where the camera's not been on and I've been talking for three hours. Mm -hmm. So now I can see that there's a little thing that says REC on these, so. I can't read that. I can't either, but I can just see the, the red letters. Have you heard my new voicemail song? I don't think I have it on here. Um. Yeah, I did a little bit of it. What would you think of it? Is that the like the Scottish hip hop yep. one? Well, yeah, it's Scottish hip hop. Uh huh. Um, we love Scottish hip hop around here. How do I find it? Uh oh, I just did something. Don't know what I did, but uh, it's this one. Voicemail, voicemail, listen to the voicemail. Voicemail, voicemail, listen to the voicemail. You got an answering machine? An answering machine? Yeah. Where do the voicemails come in at? Are they on your phone? What are you looking at? A voicemail machine? You would be surprised how many people have answering machines with tapes still. No, uh, actually, it is just um, digital. It's digital, oh, and that's cool. I don't have to go to the I, machine. I don't have to go to the machine and push a button and rewind it and erase it. That was really the, the that was really cool when you would come home and see the voicemail button. Except the, when there's bill collectors on the phone, you try to scan through them all fast. Beep, click, click, and click, get to the delete, appointment one. Delete, delete, yeah. But there's still people, when they leave a voicemail, think it's an answering machine and will leave their name and number multiple times as if your phone doesn't tell you exactly who they are. I called this guy from work the other day, and this fool sang a whole long song for the opening of his phone if, for when, you talk, when you call. I don't know what the song was. I don't know if it was Aerosmith or James Spader or, let's see, James... What's the guy who plays the guitar? Hampton? James Hedgefield? That's, that's, um, that's muscles. Peter Frampton? Um, hold on. Ted James Nugent? Hedgefield's, no. He's seen, oh, he was married to Carly Simon. Oh, uh, James. Patterson? West. James West. Okay. Donald James. Well, I mean, this guy sang the whole song. And then it ended, and he said, leave a message. But it was like five minutes long. But did you leave a message? No, because I was so disturbed, I just heard that song, I had to hang up. That's I, I old school. Believe, yeah. When you, had to, when you had to hold a tape player up to an, a recording machine to have your song on there, you were dedicated. I always liked the ones where the couples... Hi, this is Fred. And this is Sally. And, and we're, we're not, not at home, home right now. Please leave, leave us a, a message at, at the beep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Jesus Christ, Sally, get it together. I don't even listen to voicemails. The, 
I just I just listen for a beep and move on. I got a message here. Uh, I probably don't have a message because everybody I know is sitting right here. That's true. Oh, Brittany Spears. I don't. She's on my telephone for some reason. What do you mean on your telephone? Right there. Well, it looks like you maybe have her on your feed. Or... Well, I don't remember looking at that, but that's okay. Um, any pressing, pressing things that you want to talk about right now? I've changed my um, uh, crazy pills. Ladies and gentlemen. This has changed her crazy pills, and they appear to be working. Yes. What are some of the things that you've noticed uh, uh, that have immediately started working? Um, uh, uh, that I just didn't want, um, I'm trying to think. I just seem to have a little bit more, like I, um, hmm, like I was, um, happier i would say you know like i was not laughing at all i was not finding anything funny whatsoever and i could you know i just didn't care about anything so yeah i do it's it's made a difference that is wonderful and there's one thing i know for sure folks is this family has a lot of insane people and when i get the pilot grove bad boy on here you'll see that (laughs) And you're probably imagining someone that looks a lot like um, Norman Reedus in the hit show, The Walking Dead, with a leather vest. Cool, leather vest. Cool long hair. Does he have a shirt on underneath? Boots. Uh, but that's not what you're going to see with the Pilot Grove Bad Boy, because the Pilot Grove Bad Boy does what he wants. He doesn't have to look like Norman Reedus. No. And you might be saying, hey... Did you know that Norman Reedus follows you on Instagram? And I'm going to say, yes, I did. Do I know why? No. What's his name? Like Blockhead or something? B- uh, big Bald Head or oh, something Oh, yeah, like Big that. Bald Head. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when people follow me like that, I'm like, first of all, how did they find me? And secondly, what do I have to do to keep them from unfollowing me? Because Sam Smith followed me for about 24 hours. Oh, why only 24 hours? I don't, I don't know what I did to upset him. Huh. But he left quickly. Because I'll check. Every once in a while, I'll check if Rihanna still following me. And she is. And oh, I don't, she still is? Yeah, and I don't know why. Hmm. But I will check. I'll I'll take a list of people and I'll, you know, go to their profile and I hit their followers. And if I see my name there, then I'm like. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to find people who are engaged with my stuff. Well, you type in their name. Oh, why Go to their followers. Type in. Yeah, I don't ain't guess too much. Huh? I don't need to know who's following me. No, okay. <laughs> Hopefully this is recording. We it says, hope so. It says R E C right here. Oh, now if that light's not on, that means it's not recording. Well, if it's green, it's not recording. If it's red, recording. Wonderful. I want to let everybody know she is not upgrade in the headphone department. I am still wearing the Walgreens by the register headphones with the gnarly rubber tip that goes in your ear. Now, I did for the last two guests, I had Paige and Heather Shaw. Uh huh. Um, I bought brand new headphones for each of them. So I believe that you have the headphones of Heather Shaw. Hmm. I don't think so. No, you do. Oh, okay. So you have the you have the earwax of Heather Shaw, and if oh. you don't know who that is, that's the girl on TikTok that looks just like Jim Carrey. Hmm, I don't think I've ever seen her. What but does unfor- she do? Does she does tricks and stuff? She is a, a comedian. Oh, okay. But she just also happens to look exactly like Jim Carrey. Oh, well, Jim Carrey's uh, handsome. Right, her smile is just like Jim Carrey. And unfortunately, her episode. Um, the sound's messed up, so I don't know what I'm going to do because we had some really funny bits in there. Maybe you can just talk over it, like ad Oh, ad- ad- that's a good idea. You know, like in that one show where they had the robots looking at the movie. Mystery Science Theater yes. 3000. Mm-hmm. 
I wish you guys could see the other side, the way that we have this set up, because there's like a, the smallest ring light you'd ever see. Well, it's for, a, you know, it's a child size <laughs> light ring. There's also a, like a... Oh, tell them about the UFO we saw last night. Well, you didn't see it. <laughs> well, I was taking a nap, right? And I came down here and everybody's sitting sure on was. the fire. And they said, oh my God, we just saw a UFO. And I was like, that is awesome. Can't wait to hear it. And they started to describe it to me. And I had to let them down gently, basically, saying that what they saw were satellites that belonged to Elon Musk. Well, you acted like you were all pissed off because you didn't see it. Now you're acting like it's no big deal. No, it is a, It is really a big deal because the first time that I saw it, and it, if you don't know what it is, it's you look up in the sky and there's like a train of lights, just lights following each other like this. Brother goes, look, what is that? And it looks like you're getting invaded yeah like it's like okay the aliens are finally lining up and coming to get us the first time i saw it was in st louis and i looked up and i was like this is not this is not good i went like this yeah i mean what do you do just go in your house and hide i mean get any I mean, covers i mean i don't know what to do if the aliens are coming they're gonna find you and hiding under covers ain't gonna do nothing yeah it's true so i don't know and th- and this has been my thing lately. Like, I'll just surrender first. I'll be like, I yeah. surrender because I'm not going to sit here and hide. That's too stressful. Yes, yeah, too stress. I completely understand. But the first time I saw it, it freaked me out. I Googled it, you know, train of lights and saw that it was Elon Musk's shit. So then at that point, I found out there's an app you can go on and see when you can see it wherever you are. And we went on that app and confirmed um, that it was indeed that and not aliens. If you want to, if you want to see what I'm talking about, you can go to uh, what is it called? Find Starlink, something or other. Why are you asking me that? Um, and you guys can look at it for yourself. It was pretty freaky though, because they were like all right in a row. And they were really lit up, and it was just, like, really in sync, and then they, like, disappeared through, like, a hole. A black hole? Yeah, it's like a black hole. Now, were you able to see the black hole? Um, No, we didn't see what it went into. It just went into, like, not like, like, it were, like there was a screen up there, and they went behind the screen or the curtain. And I'm not a scientist, but I don't think there was a screen up there. Possibly. You never know. I think what happens is because of the turn of the earth and the sun and other factors that I don't know about, that it just simply wasn't reflecting anymore from where we're sitting. I don't think it actually, there was like a black hole. I don't think it went into anything. And again, I'm not a scientist, so. I'm not either. Hey, sis. Yeah? I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. I forgot. Did you ever have to take science class where you use Bunsen burners? No, they didn't let me around those. I never got up into that league of science. <laughs> I took basic biology for like four years and never got through it. I didn't do the frog or nothing. Well, that's good. Are you getting eat up over there? I remember my science teacher, I'm not going to say his name, but he had these nunchuck balls or the ones you do tick, click, 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 click. And they go up and down and click. Um, where it's like they hit together. Yeah. Like, yeah. He would always come right in front of my face and do it in, during class. Now, these days that would be considered, I would think, some sort of assault. <laughs> that could not happen in school. And was he trying to intimidate you? Uh, I don't know. I was just sitting there. Hmm. Yeah. We did have another teacher. He threw a typewriter down the steps. He was hooping and hollering because he made us, it was like, I think he taught physics. And, but you had to go in there and cook food and stuff before you got to start learning. He had like a whole bunch of stoves and you had to like cook lunches and stuff like that. And then, then you would start learning stuff later on. I think I skipped that class most of the time. Um, was it home ec? No, it was, he taught physics. I, I never, oh no, well, I must not have skipped that class because I never made it to physics. There's some reason why I know that. Maybe I was just in there well, with a friend or something. Why? He always had like macaroni and cheese and Was that uh, in the greens. curriculum 
Or did he just have you doing that? He just had us doing it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to contact the St. Louis Public School Association. I this don't week. believe he's alive anymore. What was his name? I, I, I will not reveal that. Why? Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson? Yes. No. If you're a it's relative a, of Mr. Nelson. It's not Mr. Nelson. Well, if you had a teacher that worked at St. Louis Public Schools, specifically um, academy, it was an academy of math and science. Sis, who couldn't pass biology, was in the academy of math and science. That's right. And if you had a teacher that was maybe illegally uh, requiring children, and and I say children, but when I look back at Sis's high school picture, everyone was 40 years old. Yeah, we all were sure. 40, yeah. Um, so this guy had 40-year-old children <laughs> uh, crafting meals. Yeah, there was a lot of cooking going on. It always smelled so good, too. Well, I guess that makes sense because in physics, you study stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know about physics. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if well, it's Well, if you took physics, you'd know that those UFOs did not go into a black hole. Where did it go? I don't know where they went. Oh. The earth? They went in the earth. Yes. <laughs> they went into the earth's core. <laughs> Our family members look very bored. They look excited. This is one of the best live audiences I've ever had. And it is so nice and cool out here. I mean, it's just really lovely. I've never had a live audience, actually. No, you haven't. This is the very first. Let's give it up for our live audience today. <laughs> whoop, whoop. They're really doing a good job yes, as far as... Staying quiet. Staying, and they're not throwing out any bad words nope. or hollering during it or anything like Nobody's that. even smoking cigarettes. And even my brother, the pilot Uh-oh. grove bad boy, uh, is not even doing his cool vape tricks. And he can he can take a puff off of a vape. And it can cover you. You can't even see the person next to you. Right. You think you're at a Ted Nugent concert because yeah. there's so much smoke that you can't see anything. You're like, oh, where am I? Oh, I'm still in the backyard. And he's got a vape that is the size of a small booklet. And no, it looks like you can put it in your car and it starts up your car. It looks like the thing that charged up the, um, it looks like the flux capacitor in the Back to the Future movies that required the car to go back in time. If you could go back in time, what year would you go to? Oh, man. Hmm. That is really... Mm. Do I have to stay there? Okay, I got to stop for a minute and announce the fact that Kim, our sister-in-law, has one of those old lady cigarette cases with the thing at the top where you go like this. <laughs> I actually wanted to get one of those when I was smoking. It is nice. Keeps your lighter and your cigarettes safe. All right, what year would you go to? Do I have to stay there permanently or just be like visiting? Just visiting. Hmm. So you could take your Back to the Future car. I've never seen Back to the Future. 87 the future. gigawatts of power and go to wherever you want. I've never seen that movie. Well, basically the guy invented a car that was a time machine. Okay. That's pretty much the theme of it. I... But unfortunately, he went back in time and his own mom fell in love with him. So just make sure you're not going back to a time where mom and dad are because you don't want mom or dad to fall in love with you. Yeah, well, I, I don't think that'd be an issue. Okay. I'm trying to think here. Hmm. Um, I don't um, hmm. I don't really know. I Yeah, probably like, I don't know, 1905 or something. And what excites you about 1905? I don't know. It just sounded like a good year to go back to. Is that like when the stock market, the stock market crashed? Do you think if you went to 1905, you would wear one of those? Because you'd have to get an I'd outfit. I'd want a corset. I Yeah. You'd have to get an outfit because people would be like, whoa, look at that cool outfit that says, what does it say? Excuse me, bitch. What does that mean? I want one of those flapper girl outfits where they dance and had the long cigarettes hanging out of their mouth while they did the... the two-step back and forth. Do you think if you went back to 1905, though, that you would ride one of those giant bicycles with the huge front wheel and the tiny back wheel? Probably not, no. Though I don't know how any human being. I, it doesn't make any sense. 
thinking if it was the Wright brothers, was they 1905? I don't even know. I don't remember. And if 1905 is when they invented the plane, they've only been flying the plane for, I don't know how many years it is. Oh, you know what? I'd like to go back and see the Hindenburg blow up. What? That'd been a cool thing to watch. Well, how many people I'd like to go they... back and see one of the world's worst tragedies. Uh, I didn't say it was a... Tra- well, I'm just saying, I mean, you don't see that every day. I guess you don't. But yeah. the, you can pretty much go back and watch the old-timey movie, isn't it, where the guy's like, Oh, my God, the thing is blowing up! How disastrous! Did he say that? That's, it's on fire. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Is that what he said? I don't know. Oh, I'm it just sounds making like up it. stuff. How disaster! I'm going to look it up right now. And while I'm looking it up, you go ahead and talk to the audience. Um, let's see, I go back to work Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to think here. What else is going on? I got to add the Bluetooth on here. The Hindenburg. Just keep on uh, telling them. Oh, yeah. I forgot to see Hindenburg. Pear. I'm trying to think where, what's going on here. Going back. I wonder if someone lit a cigarette. Is that why it blew up? Well, we're about to find out. And what fool would ride around in one of those? I have no earthly idea. I mean, it would be back in the day. I would have been like, yeah, hook me up. I mean, wouldn't remember where the good winch blows or the good winch... Balloons. What were they called? Those were the Good Wrench. What are you um, talking about, bro? Goodyear blimps. Oh yeah, Those that was are... like a Hindenburg, wasn't it? Um, a blimp. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? And it had that little box on the bottom. All right. Huh? This is real footage. It says. Oh, okay. Path Pathway News Special. Wow. Internet working. It says actual Zeppelin crash, but I can't hear nothing. Alrighty, folks, what's that going was... on here? Oh, it's these pictures made from a Pathé News plane less than four hours before the tragedy show the world's largest airship heading for Lakehurst, New Jersey. Over Newark's famous auto skyway, the airship was hailed by thousands who little dreamed it was their. All right, I. This is disturbing. ...are dropped. These scenes were filmed by Pathé News cameraman William Deke. And you're about to see the pictures he got when the ship exploded. Those aboard leaping for life from a flaming inferno. The actual crash of the Hindenburg. An airship destroyed in less than half a minute. I mean... I don't want to watch it because it's disturbing, but I remember, didn't the person say, oh, the humanity? No, I think that was at the World Series, 1982 World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Harry Carey. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Yeah. I don't want to go back and see death. I don't, that I was just... 1937. Okay. Well, so... It was pretty, pretty close. 37, huh? 1937, and father was born in 1936. Oh, he sure was. That's wild to think that our dad could have seen the Hindenburg exploding. And now, how, how, why would, why would they make blimps after this knowing what happened to the Hindenburg? Why is it automatic cars are crashed on all over the place and people are still driving them? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Just got to risk it sometimes. What? Just got to risk it sometimes. I mean, I heard what you said, but I'm like, what? What do you smell? I don't know. Something. <clears throat> How are your dentures? They're clicking and a clacking. Clicking and a clacking. Would it make you feel better if I took my flipper out? No. I do like the gap, though. I do, too. Yeah. I was thinking, we sh- remember how I was asking Sis the other day, remember when there was walkathons? And you got paid for, like, every mile that you walked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 
Did you lie or did you actually walk those? I don't think I ever did a walkathon. To tell you. The oh, truth. really? Well, that's strange. You mean for like school, they'd be like, "I'll give you twelve cents for every mile you yeah, go." Yeah, and I, mom always joined me up for those, and I don't know actually know why I was there. She dropped me off and go say, "Don't do the walkathon." The fact that they called it a walkathon <laughs> is ridiculous. <laughs> mom dropped you off to a lot of activities. Yes, she did. Okay. She wanted me to experience all of life had to offer. Especially walkathons. Which no one ever signed my card. I don't think I ever earned it. So you were walking for nothing. I was basically. walking for nothing, yeah. That's Sweating. really sad. That's all right. You're like, how much did you earn? You're like, I actually <laughs> didn't earn it. Th- uh, nobody donated. <laughs> Would you donate to my walkathon? <laughs> you know what they do now is they have jump rope for jump rope for heart or something. At schools. Oh, that's pretty good. Like a double dutch. So it's like instead of walking, the kids just jump rope and how many times they go successfully go like this. I could never get into the double dutch because because I could. She did. Wow, my niece apparently. Folks, breaking news. I've uh, never heard this information. Gabby was the top earner at at her school. Did she do double dutch or just regular? A double dutch is very difficult because... I can never get in because you're, you're sitting going like there. This. You're like And this. they're going like this. Yeah. And for a half an hour, you're just sitting there. Okay, right now. Right now. And then your feet right have now. to go like this yeah, real fast. right now. And I never could get in there. I just preferred a regular jump rope. Yeah. And I prefer that it's not moving when I go to jump. I just want them to start as I'm start, standing there. Yeah. yeah. And I prefer a jump rope that's not made of a wire because those hurt. Oh, no, I like those. I like an actual rope, like an old-timey. Oh, but they just flopped all over the place. But it's better than getting hit in the face with one of those telephone I, I don't cord wires. I don't understand be hitting in the, fu- in the face. Because we lived uh, around a bunch of maniacs who deliberately wanted to hurt you <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> what kind of big wheel did you have? Uh, the, the original big wheel. And we took the seat off, the back off, so we could pedal it like a scooter. We never rode it like a regular big wheel. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we had a water squirter. I don't remember a water huh? squirter. We did? I didn't have, I had one called Powder Puff, and it was like pink and purple. I do not remember that. And I rode it so much that the front wheel had a flat spot, and it, when it would oh, go it, around, it goes. Yeah. Big wheels were it. I always wanted a green machine. Those were pretty cool because you could yeah. do stunts and stuff. Because uh-huh. I was so into stunts. Yeah. yeah. Big stunt guy. <laughs> I used to pretend that uh, I was doing stick shift on my big wheel. Oh, really? Yeah. I would, what do you move? Just in the middle, I had a pretend stick shift handle. Kind of like those cars at Six Flags. And you sit there. And, was it just the wheel or was there things you can shift back and forth? The old-timey cars. It didn't have a stick shift. It just had a pedal. Oh, okay. And, boy, that was a fun ride. Man, I'm that was you, fun. I would go get in that line at four or five times. Immediately, yeah. Because if you were a kid and you could drive a car without actually causing a serious accident. Huh? The moon cars. The moon cars. That's right. Six Flags Yeah, moon, moon cars. cars. And I think Dad liked that one, too, because he got to sit in the back seat. Yes. Yeah. And I especially loved it because there was always teenage boys working it. And they would run up, at the end, they would run up to your car and they had like a pedal on the outside. And they'd put their foot on the outside and they'd kind of hold on and be cool like, all right, guys, we're getting ready to get you up here out of this line. All right, thanks for riding. We thought, I mean, anybody who worked at Six Flags, those were like the coolest people The coolest on the people. Yeah. Until you became an adult and you realized that. 14-year-olds are doing the Screaming Eagle. Right. 14-year-olds yeah. are actually in charge of your life <laughs> on large machinery. It's like, wait, this isn't exactly cool anymore. This is actually terrifying. <laughs> I like the log flume. The log flume was a good one. I like the log flume. I like, I'm um, trying to go around the park. Screaming Eagle was always good. And so was the um, mine train. Mine train that was, was good. good. Yeah. Now, of course, they had the railblazer. Uh, which didn't last long because a woman fell off of it. And, oh, I don't and remember that. passed away. That. Yeah, that was the one of the first stand-up roller coasters. Oh, and I've never been in one of those. I couldn't fit in one of those. 
Well, uh, a lot of... Uh, I think they should just make a plus size amusement park. Uh, there is, and there's a whole page on Facebook about oh, Disney, really? about the different rides and which ones are good for big people to get on. Are and, they just like floating around and looking at like old dinosaurs and stuff like that? Well, it has seats that you can fit in. Oh, okay. Or they just put you on a mobility scooter and wheel you around. Oh, I like that. I mean, I like to have the kids run up to see if they're tall enough to fit on the ride. And you're all excited when you get to my get fa- up that height. My favorite was the tilt house at Six Flags. I don't. I still don't understand how that works. Remember, you go in the tilt house and the floors will be all crooked. I ain't doing all that. Yeah, I ain't doing that. And and you're like, whoa, everything's all messed up. And you would get dizzy, but I don't understand how it worked. Everything was tilted. I is that the one that spun? It didn't spin at all. You just walked in it, and all the floors were. I don't. I huh. I wonder if I didn't go. And in everything there. in there was was not straight. Everything was crooked. And Dad would be going, "Woo!" <laughs> Dad liked all the rides. It was like spooky and dark in there. Yeah, Dad. Went, I mean, he. Um, Do you remember the Tilt House, brother? Remember that one ride, and you rode through it, and uh, people were shooting at you, and I thought people were really shooting at us, and I was in the The time machine? Of, yeah, I was in the bottom of the boat screaming, because I thought people were shooting at us. Now, was that every single time you went through it? I never went on it again. It was awful. Oh, it's called the time tunnel. Is that what I said? Well, it seemed like it was outside. Inside? There was the, there oh. was the indoor one. It had like it would go through like it had like a space section. Oh yeah, because it was real nice and air conditioned. And then it had like a big um, like white Arctic bear, and it would blow a big air oh, yeah. air condition on you. Yeah. And then it had a like a old timey like it was a lot of guys drinking out of those um, those beer meister Oktoberfest mugs or something. It was like those uh, jugs, you know. The mug, the big beer mug. The big yeah. jugs, and then it had, uh, God, what was another one they had? And all the people were always like. <laughs> so if you thought these people were really shooting at you, sis, <laughs> there was something wrong with you, because that's how they looked. Well. And their heads would go like. I mean, it sounded like real gunfire to me. Oh, it started with the woolly mammoth. So it started way back in time. That's oh, what it was. Oh, God, why don't I remember that? That's where kids would go to make out. Yeah, I don't know about any of that. St- I never did that stuff. That's where the kids would go with their boyfriends and make out. No, I always went with the family. I never went with just friends. I also liked the um, Highland Fling. Hell, no, I ain't riding that thing. Spun you around. Ugh. Get in that little capsule. And it spins spin. you around like this and no. then goes up on its side. No, that no, never. Nothing more exciting. I liked all them rides when I could fit on them. Yeah, I pretty much did too. And now I can't imagine ever having to walk around on Six Flags ever again. Because <laughs> it was approximately... 8,000 degrees. 8,000 degrees always. And um, are you uncomfortable? No, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I liked when we went out to lunch in the parking lot. Yeah, because the food there was too expensive. Yeah, so at we you get your hand stamped and you go on out, and Dad would have the bologna sandwiches and you know all chips, that, and chips, soda and stuff. Yeah, the fact that they would stamp your hand and you couldn't see it until they put it under a black light right. just that was blew my cool. fucking mind. Yeah. I'm like, how do you how do you see it with the naked eye? <laughs> And you'd be so afraid it would wash off. Yeah, so you'd you just never like, wanted to wash your hands because they wouldn't let you back in. And if Dad's paying twenty five dollars for each kid, that was a lot of money back in the eighties. Yeah, that was. What does brother have? More juice for his vape machine. Brother likes to jump up and stay busy. Now he's looking through the window. I don't know what he's doing there. You said it's 9 o'clock. Oh, my God. What time did we start? I don't know. Oh, we started about 41 minutes ago. Oh. Yeah. Boy, it's lovely out here. It is really, really, had really a nice. nice. Weekend, everybody. Huh? Are we going to do shout-outs? I was trying you could to do think. shout-outs right now. You can do whatever you want. Well, I mean, are we? am I almost done, or what's going on here? Well, uh, 
What's the plan? The plan is you can just do whatever you want. If you want to do shout outs right now, do them by okay. all means. Well, I was trying to think who to do a shout out to. Hold on, let me turn on some shout out. Did you just say who to do it to? Well, I was trying to think who people I know or. Is this a good music for shout outs? Yeah. Oh, shout out to the case. KC95 Sweet Meat no. Pig. From- <laughs> it's called the KC95 <laughs> Hog. <laughs> Libby was really freaked out when she found out that the KC95 uh, Pig was named Sweet Meat. Sweet Meat. That's disgusting. He wore clothes. It's the KC Hog, and that's a radio station I've here never in heard of... John Ulig. Was it John Ulig? Is he still on there? I I haven't listened to regular radio in a hundred years. Huh? KC? KC ninety five. I can't drive fifty five. Which uh, I've probably said about fifteen times this weekend for some reason. I well, must be on like you know, a once Sammy you, Once you find thing. a cool saying, you don't want to give it up. That's right. I'm trying to think of cool sayings. You don't have any more shout-outs? Oh, I was just trying to think of um, people to do a shout-out to. I don't know. Let's see here. Mm. Ah, I don't really I don't really have anybody to do shouts-out to. Shout what out about to. the friend at work that listens to the podcast? Oh, I could shout-out to Stephanie. She's a nice gal. All righty. She's really nice, yeah. And that wraps up our shout-out <laughs> segment. Um, wanted to do shout outs, but didn't have anybody ready. I didn't ready. have anybody lined up. I try to come into this podcast open-minded. Uh-huh. I don't want to prepare my brain to have things to talk about. I feel that I just talk about things that just come out naturally. That's what we do here on Storage yeah. Podcast. So I don't get nervous because I, you know, like if I had to, I'm not performing, I'm just talking. Right, 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 right. Can we hear that air conditioner condenser? Um, who? You gotta stop worrying about stuff like that. And that. I'll I'll look at it later. It's not that up. There's like a, a thing called a gate on the microphone where. It Heaven's stop, gate. Stop. He, just like heaven's gate. I was knock, thinking, knock, maybe I don't knock. want to go back to the Hindenburg. I really, it sounds like yeah, I was that, mean. Well, no, it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh, yeah, that's an iconic part of, of time. Mm-hmm. But after I watched it, I'm like, whoa, that was disturbing. Yeah. I think you should go back, because this is when I would go back, is Outlander times. Yeah, I would like that if I don't live there, because they didn't have any medicine, and it just... it The clothes look really nice, and the guys look really handsome and stuff, but... I'm but they sure stink. you were dirty, yeah, and really working it up. And I'm just not into yard work. And well, I don't think the people on that were actually there or as handsome as James Fraser <laughs> on Outlander. You never know because they didn't have dental care or any of that stuff. So I'm sure they were just looking rough. They look looking like, like me. Uh uh-uh. uh, looking like me. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to think of a Scottish name. Hey there, uh, Liam. Patrick. Is that Patrick Lemons? They'd probably, they'd probably, if they saw you show up like that with shorts and and a t-shirt, they would probably arrest you or probably kill you or something. Because that would be weird. Well, they'd probably think I was a witch. Oh yeah, that's... that'd be a lot of burning at the stake. I ain't into that. I do not want to be burned at the stake. That's horrible. I'd take out my phone and be like, back, back, and show them like movies, like. Get back! Yeah. That would be cool. Cause oh, I'd probably like-, like to go back and be like Game of Thrones with the dragons and stuff. That'd be good. But the unfortunate thing about that is that's not real. Oh, well, yeah. But, I mean, that back in that time. What time was that? Back in the day. Uh, like prehistoric times. I've never even watched that. Um, oh, that's an excellent show. But the... But there's there is uh, no such thing as dragons. No, oh, I know. Yeah, I know that. So I could say, what height? But hey, hey, we don't know. There was dinosaurs. Didn't one of them like the huckleberry? What was that thing called? 
the dinosaur that flew? The Huckleberry. Yeah. Transjacula. What was that thing called? <laughs> Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Tran- yeah. The Transjacula, of course, was one of the first flying dinosaurs. That's right. Well, there you go. So you can't say, you know, that there was no flying dragons. Well, you're right. Got you there. Boom. Got me there. Boom. Um. Any any other things you want to say? No, not really. I, I, I'm waiting for things to pop up in my head to start saying, but there's nothing coming up. Well, we could just sit here until it does. Hmm. Yeah, brother said talk about Holly. Oh, yeah. She's a lovely dog. Holly is Sis's new dog, and she's the sweetest little angel in the world. And we introduced it to our stepdad, and he said it had, uh, it had uh, <laughs> drunk people eyes. Bull, she, he said bloodshot she had bull, eyes. Bloodshot eyes, and I was like, where did he get that? It was really weird. She had bloodshot eyes. <laughs> I was like, what? Are you okay? He's not a dog lover. I just, I, and I said this in front of him. I said, I just don't trust people that don't like dogs because it's. Well, they're just a lot of work. Yeah, but if you don't like a dog, what's wrong with you? They're a lot of work. Well, we can ask the Pilot Grove bad boy because he doesn't like dogs. No, he doesn't like dogs. Which is weird because we have many dogs grown up. Buffy, for instance. Lady. Oh, lady dog. She was a sweet thing. And I called her Ladu. Ladu. No, you did not. Ladu was downstairs for me. There in, on Benton. That was Ladu? That was a dog you couldn't get in the yard without him ripping your legs up. <laughs> yeah, they'd have to. If I wanted to go to Sis's house, the neighbor would have to come outside and take their dog inside <laughs> or you would be... Dismembered. <laughs> yes. And that was the same joke. thing by the uh, other dog, um, Duke, down the street. If well, you went in the yard, you would be killed. Well, Duke was trained to do that. To he kill was, children? Well, he, that don't enter the property. But what's the point of having a dog like that that you can't cuddle and, you know? That, that, was, that dog was made to catch Frisbees and... Um, Block it on. did catch yeah. frisbees. Rose used to go out there and throw frisbees to Duke. Yeah. Well, how come it didn't attack people in the park? You know, I don't know. It I was really... something about his own yard. If you came yeah. near his yard, it was. Yeah, he'd tear you up. Did you hear that bark? Was that a good bark? I guess. I mean, I'm not an expert at barks. I want to find a hobby, and I'm trying. To, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I like. I do not. She do said puzzles. working puzzles. I can't stand puzzles. And that's why she's called Mom Junior because she said working puzzles, and Mom loved working a puzzle. Yes, she did. And me, I want to just throw it up in the air. I could do it for, for about ten minutes. If you give me a puzzle that's got seven pieces, like a pig. I a like cow, the ones I with the little one tab spot. on yes. the top. Yes, those are my a child kind of, puzzle. Yes, those are my kind of puzzles. You could do the puzzle in less than one minute. You match up the cow, chicken, donkey. Yep, and then you're done with the puzzle. Puzzle races. Remember the puzzle races. I don't remember. Yeah, mom would put out puzzles. But I think the best mom thing was when um, it was in fall. It was Halloween. She had a Halloween party. And she promised this big prize if we go out, whoever got the most leaves in a bag. They were those pumpkin trash bags. Yeah. Okay. And so whoever had the highest weighing one won the big prize. But actually, it was on us because we cleaned up her yard. Lickety split, and I think Big D put a brick in his bag. Yeah, he cheated. <laughs> what was the big prize? I don't even remember. I don't think there really was a prize. I just think, oh, it was that rubber rat. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Great prize. 
That was fun, though. It was fun, but I'll never fill up a. I'll never fall for that again. I'll I mean, never fall for that. I mean, trick she again. got us, man. I mean, that whole yard was cleaned up, and we were going crazy, like we were just so <laughs> competitive. Get the leaves, get the leaves, get the leaves. And she's just standing back laughing and cracking up. She did like to laugh, especially at us. Yes, um, definitely. Loved laughing at us and our misfortunes. Well, it, you know, part of life. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I scalded myself with black coffee, and she thought that, that was the funniest thing she'd ever seen. Because she said she watched my eyes go up and the coffee go up out of the cup and come back down. She was looking in the rearview mirror. Oh. <clears throat> the funniest, the the most I've ever seen Mom laugh was Kim yes. and Sis jumped in the pool. And when they both jumped in, being hardy, sturdy girls, my brother-in-law flies up in the air and goes whoa like like their impact of the water caused him to fly up in the air right and oh. mom laughed so hard and for so long she thought it was the funniest thing in the world i you have, have the video oh no i just was thinking about something else um there's like an app on here and you type in words oh uh-huh. and i put down some words to talk about and i think quick notes Let's see. Words. Huh? Okay. I thought I'd bring him up. Up chucking. Up chuck. Dad used to say that a lot. Yeah. Man alive, two for five. Wait a minute. We got to go back to up chuck and tell people what it means because not everybody knows what up chuck means. Dad would always say, are you up chucking? Are you up chucking? And it means barfing and vomiting. I don't know what the the word origin of up chuck is. Up chuck. I wonder if it someone got uh, sick on ground beef or something. Oh, God. Up Chuck. Chuck ground beef. I think I have that video of Mom laughing. I'm going to see if I can find it. The next one is fill-in station. Filling station. Yeah. Yeah, you fill your car up. That makes sense. Okay. What's wrong with that one? I don't know. Uh, Man Alive, two for five. What's that? That was a store down 14th Street Mall. And you could get a pair of church shoes and um, school shoes for $5. Man, a live two for five. I love that. Yeah. I love, that is really great. Man, a live two for five. Yeah. All right. Uh, and these are words that you wrote down because they're funny? I don't know. I just, they popped in my head and I said, I better document this. The Evening World. Do you remember what that was? Evening World? It was in a newspaper? That's right. North For Saint, where? North St. Louis newspaper. Yeah, All right, hold on. This is the video. It starts off with sis and uh, sis jumping in the water. And he was fat himself. There was a couple of girls in my class. <laughs> I think brother jumped up too, matter of fact. Yeah, it looked like brother jumped up too. Yeah, playing a funny role. I'm going to look at it one more time. Damn it. Brother's over there on a fun noodle cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, God, I hate Facebook. That's when Mom had gray hair for a while. Yeah. What is going on here? Um, Hold on. Are you on the 3G? I don't know what the hell I'm on. Oh. I'm on the Wi-Fi. Card catalog. Car- What's that? At the library. At the what? Library, and you go in and look for a book. I can never work it. I remember Grandma Honey went in, and, oh, man, she was bent out of shape. She was looking for some kind of book, and um, this is when they started going to computers. She's like, I just want a GD card catalog. That's how I, and, man, she huffed and puffed out of there. Oh, my Wait, God, she was she, so she mad. she said GD in the library? Of course. 
Okay. Is that a real dog bark or a fake one? Why do you have a regular microphone and I have the puff on mine? Well, because my last guest, they had a fan on them, and that was to keep the fan from making oh, okay. uh, yeah. fan noises. Um, something it said by that video, it said be- best birthday present <laughs> ever. Oh, it's Kimberly going down the slide. Yes. <laughs> Front works. Oh, Jesus. I think she almost broke her damn neck. <laughs> She is rolling. That was awesome. That was awesome. Kimberly, the water with my neck. Yeah, you hit the water with your neck. That was the best birthday gift ever. (laughs) (laughs) Mom was yelling, that was the best birthday gift ever. Gigi. That is so. Uh It's so weird to hear her voice. It's like in my head, I can kind of hear it, but when hearing it there, it's like, that's. That's not how I hear it in my head. Oh, brother wants to know, do you know someone who transfers tape onto CDs? I think that's what he wanted. Yeah. You're asking me that right now during a podcast? Well, I just now thought about that. He asked me yesterday, and I meant to ask you. Do you know of anybody? I mean, have you ever, uh, this might be new, have you ever heard of Google? Well, Google is a site where you can go and just pretty much type in anything. Are you talking about videotapes or cassette tapes? Well, he was we'll trying talk- to have human contact. We'll sis. talk about it when he comes over here. Oh, okay. Any more uh, words you wanted to say? To say? Um, no, I just got up chucking, man alive, two for five, Carl catalog, the evening world, filling station, and piddling. Yeah, sis loves to piddle around. Yeah. And just I just the piddling. Piddling. And I wonder where that word came from. I do not know. Well, huh. um, and it's funny because it's it's a note on her phone and it, it says words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use any of these apps. I don't understand what they're talking about. Uh, I just have like three or four I go to. The Amazon Music, the Instagram, the YouTube, and the TikTok. And the Walmart. All those are cool except Amazon Music. Who uses it? Well, I try to use Apple Music because they got like a free trial. That was lame. I mean, I had a hard time finding stuff. Amazon Music, I must be set up for the older generation because it's very easy to find (laughs) things. And you just put it in one playlist and there you go. I was looking up James Ingram the other day. On the wings of love. Only the two of us together flying high. On the wings of love. God, that's a good song. That's a banger, brother. And I was listening to Barbara Streisand and uh, Barry Gibbs singing the song. And my husband said that was the worst song he ever heard. I mean, I, I was it's shocked. for divorce, I guess. Yeah. I mean, how could you go off on Barbara Streisand and one of the Bee Gees? Well, well looks, there goes it, California Bad Boy. I well, mean, the Pilot Bad it Boy. It looks like all of our guests are leaving. I guess I bored them to death. What did he say? Getting a drink. Hey, would you give me Coke Zero? A Coke Zero? Sis said, there's one in the cooler. What's weird is Sis has such a strong accent. Sorry. Very strong Mississippi accent. Yes. Do we have an accent to you? She said no. No. As soon as brother comes out, uh, Sis, I'm going to have him on because we're already at an hour. Okay. So, So they're getting a bonus episode here. Oh, wow. This is really exciting. I know. I hope I didn't mess up or do anything oh, to insult people. Never, or... never, sis. I'm kind of regretting the Hindenburg thing. Maybe I probably shouldn't have said that. You weren't thinking about death and destruction. You were thinking about like a big event. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Oh, the humanity. And one wonder where that guy was. Who? Now that I think about it, I think Granddad was at the Hindenburg burned down where was it 
in New Jersey. I think he was stationed around there or something. Really? Uh huh. Thanks, brother. Somebody said, oh, she's drinking Coke again. This is Coke Zero. Yeah, I saw that comment. I don't pay that close attention to things in the videos. What? He wants to know if you can say naughty words on you the You can podcast. say whatever you want, and I'll just go. Eric, yep, there you go. Butthole? Dog bitch. Brother's going to do the turd shooter for everybody on the... He has the most elaborate can cooler I've ever seen. Oh, it's I got love a, that can. It's called the Mammoth. It's called the Screw on Top. Yeah, and it secures your drink, and it keeps your, your can cola just... Um, Cold. Really cold. I had Burger King the other day. Man, they had these two-for-one chocolate chip cookies. Dang, they were so good. Yeah. So you're telling everybody to go out and get the The two-for-one, yeah. But the double cheeseburgers, they're like now the size of like um, a, can- a silver dollar. Yes. They're very tiny, but man, it was delicious. How do you say that war that we had in our country? Um, civil was war. What was it? Civil The civil war. S- the civil war. The what? Silver war. Silver. The silver war. Everybody knows about the iconic silver war. Yes. Silver War. Silver War. Well, sis, thanks for joining me. You're uh, welcome, sis. I appreciate it. The best uh, everybody loves when sis comes on the podcast. I hope nobody goes off. If they do, I'll block them. Oh. Well, that's okay. Now, who's up mm-hmm. next? Uh, but, oh, I want to do a uh, shout out. Pilot Grove Bad Boy. Bob Barker. He just died. He passed away. Yeah. He's not alive anymore. Kenny Buffett? Oh, Jenny Buffett. I don't know nothing about no Jimmy Buffett. I've never li- listened to his music. I just was not. It, was he like Beach Boys? Because I. It was like Margarita. Oh, I love the Beach Boys. Or do I? I don't know. Okay, so how should I do this? Just stand up and leave? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a round of applause. Like Jeremy does this. Jeremy Dolce? Yeah. <laughs> you could have shouted out to Jeremy Dolce. Well, I've already done a shout out for him, but I didn't think of him. I'm sorry. What Jeremy. about Ray? Our friend Ray. Lo- well, I've already done a shout out to Ray. Yeah. My my friends list is pretty, pretty on the short Did side. Did Ray does Ray watch this podcast? I believe so. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if he I didn't, mean, I'm blocking him. So Well, we'll I'll just, I better send him a note and tell him to get on it. Shout out to Ray. And his partner's name is... Uh, international Joe. Joe? Yeah. International Joe. Why international? Because he's a man of the world. Oh, damn. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, well, On that sis. note, I better get off here. Do you want uh, Karen to go first? Are you ready, Karen? Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome to the podcast, the much anticipated. Oh boy. Our other sister, the oh. sister from another mister, oh boy. the sister that we found after 40 years. Karen. Welcome Hi. to the show, Karen. <laughs> Do you want to put these in your ear holes? Ears would be nice, yes. I won't make you sit here long, sis. It's okay. I just want people to meet you. She's very quiet. You hear it? Welcome to the show, Karen, everybody. Karen. Now, Karen looks just like our mother, and Sis has named her Mom Junior because even the way she's sitting right now, it's like my mom. And if you don't know the backstory, go back and watch episode, I don't know what it was. Four. Four. She said four. She oh. knows. Four. Basically, my mom um, was forced to, uh, as a teenager, give her up for adoption uh, because our grandmother, uh, it was a horrible person. 
And also probably a little bit of society was like, teenagers can't have kids, so let's send them away and ta- force their children away. Yes. And she said yes. And she's acting like she's shy. <laughs> uh, but the other night, she was jumping on this trampoline, screaming so loud uh, in the middle of the night. So she's not shy. No. Um, not usually. What was your first um, impression um, when you realized that we were your family? I was still excited. I was still excited. I was ready to meet y'all. And, and after I met you, I still love y'all. <laughs> even seeing how we are, you still love us? Yes. Um, it's it's really weird to have a, a sibling that you never met until now. For me, it's weird. Isn't it weird? Yes. It's very weird, but also it's like we've known each other forever. And we're very, I feel like we're all very comfortable enough where like we can yell at each other now. Do you feel like that? I mean, you and you and Andrew yeah, yell at each other. Yes, we do. And she's our older sis. Sis was always the older sis, and now we have another older sis. So sis isn't the older sis, which takes the middle child thing away from me. And that was something that I really liked. <laughs> Sorry. If you could go back to any time in history, when would you go back? I'd say the Titanic. Uh, why do you guys want to see disasters? Okay, my family loves disasters. And would you want to be on the Titanic or just watching it from a from afar? Watching it. And what what about maybe filming it? Wow, with your phone. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. Um, we tried to get her to film the aliens last night, but she couldn't do it. No, um, I couldn't. I saw it, though. Are you fascinated by the Titanic? Yes. Have you ever been to a Titanic expedition? No. Were they, like, um, they make you, like, they give you, like, a card at the beginning or something, and by the end, you it, it says, like, the person's name, and then you decide, they'll see if... If it was you, if you would be alive or not. That sounds awesome, though. Have you ever seen the movie Titanic? Yes. Have you ever seen the, um, uh, what's it called? The Heart of the Ocean Necklace? Yes. Would you ever wear it? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have any shout-outs you want to give? Man, I'm going to have to blast her sound. She's quiet. I guess my kids and my grandkids. She's got a lot of of grandkids that she takes care of. And um, I admire that about her because I don't want to take care of a kid for more than two to three minutes. You love your grandkids. Yes, I do. And those grandkids are my great niece and nephews. Is that how that works? Nieces and nephews. Because your daughter is my niece. Great yes. nieces and nephews, which is cool, but it's like, Jesus, how many people am I have to buy Christmas presents for this year? Good God. A lot Kim more. just said you don't buy Christmas presents, and she's right. I only buy Christmas presents for children. Well, y'all yeah, will all get Christmas presents this year. And she's, you're already buying Christmas presents. She's, yes. She got something today, and she goes, I'm going to put this in my Christmas present closet. I just can't believe how shy you're acting right now. It's unreal. (laughs) She's been lifting her shirt up and showing her tits (laughs) because that's what our mother used to do. You turn around, all of a sudden, it's mom's tits for no reason. It's like, mom, what are you doing, dude? Put your tits away, brother. (laughs) And Karen got me this the other day. Look, if you remember the episode where I talked about these were... I had the big ones, and then I would drink the water out of them. But I will be playing with this on the airplane tomorrow. Look, I'm doing so good. Did 
Did you, you see? All of them? Not all of them, but oh. I'm doing pretty good. And it's called Water. I can't read it. What the hell does it say? Water Game. Very complex name. Water Game. That so, might be cleaner water than what you drank. Probably. That I, I'm not sure how I'm still alive after drinking that water because it did have a taste to it. Mold. Oh, God. <laughs> Disgusting mold. I'm burping a lot from this. Um, we had Mexican today. And it was so good, wasn't it? Yes. Delicious. It was very good. Um, what is, uh, let's see, let's, let me think of some questions I could ask you. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, I guess like Walt Disney World vacations and stuff. Well, I'll tell you this. If you'd grown up with us, you wouldn't have been going to Disney. Because we have never been to Disney. <laughs> How many times did you go? You'll feel bad. No. Oh, well. Probably four or five times. See, I'm happy that you went. I'm happy you got to go. <laughs> I, uh, I, it, her adoptive family is not alive anymore, but I told her yesterday if I... Uh, if I had ever met them, I'd say, thank you for taking care of my sister. Well, they did a good job. She had a beautiful childhood. Unlike us. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You got you got lucky, okay? Wow, Kim is having a great time over there. I think Kim's a stone to the bone. Um... <laughs> Are there any questions you you want her to answer? Stone to the bone. Do you get stoned to the bone? Do I have to answer that question? No. You don't have to answer anything. Yes. You do? Yes. I've never seen you get stoned. You don't know me. You haven't known me long enough. Do you have a uh one of those bait those one hitters or do you roll up doobies? Doobies. Did you ever get those roach clips with the feathers hanging off of it and no. wear it in your hair? No. What? Are you sure no. we're related? Yes. We would go to the Catholic school picnic and win them in a booth. Uh, roach clips. <laughs> to wear in our, it was for wearing in our hair, but we didn't know it was for smoking doobies. I remember what they look like. Yeah, who would be your dream, who's your star? Celebrity crush. I think y'all already know that. Shine down. No. We know we know it, but the audience doesn't know it. Lee knows it. Who is it? It's going to be Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Kid Rock. <laughs> da bong, da bong, da dang, da dang, dicky, dicky. <laughs> boom, boom. K-R. That's what I call him, K-R. Yes. Kid Rock. Yeah, he, um, he's a little controversial days um nonetheless um we're all allowed to have our celebrity crushes um i would pick somebody like uh who's a good celebrity crush i ch i changed constantly obviously john stamos is one of my big celebrity crushes um what do you think about john stamos yes. are we still recording yet there we go um if you could only have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak. Oh, you answered that quickly. Steak. <laughs> yeah, steak and baked potato. Okay. That's a good question. If you could uh, have any mythological pet, what would it be? Dragon. Sis, your time's over. Flying pig. Flying pig? Why would you pick a flying pig? That would just be cute. They're cute. Yes. You like um, giraffes, don't you? Yes. Which also our mother liked. What? How is your favorite animal genetic? What was it? A giraffe. Giraffes. Not like giraffes? Yes. Like snowmen. Snowmen. snowmen are animals, sis. Oh, yes.
Except for Zola. Yeah, mom loved loved giraffes. It's wild that 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 genetic your favorite animal could be genetic. Civil silver war. Oh, my butt is hurting on this chair. Because sis brought the wrong one. Sis brought the wrong one, but it's the right one. You got to blame somebody, and sis is always a good person to blame. That's the thing. Uh, I don't know what else to ask you. I feel like you're being really shy and nervous. And you don't have to be because everybody will love you. Everybody already does love you. She she whispered okay <laughs> on a podcast. <laughs> you want to be done? It's okay. But I am very glad that I have y'all all y'all in my life. Oh. Very happy. Same. Samesies. Glad you're here. To have people that Knew I was there, and I never knew that y'all were here. <clears throat> yeah, we knew you were somewhere. We just didn't know where. I wasn't far from you. And luckily, she had seen a documentary about that lady that was selling babies in Georgia Tan in Memphis, and she wanted to find out if she was one of them. So she went ahead and researched, and that's what brought us together. I just don't understand why you didn't do twenty three and me. Never heard of it. Huh? Never heard of it. Okay. When did you start hearing about it? Until when you said it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I had done all of them hoping that she would pop up. And um, even after she did it, so she did it after we knew about her, and then it said close relative. It didn't say sibling, I don't think, for us. But it was close enough. Lots of... uh. Lots of drama with with my mom having her and my grandma lying about a lot of stuff, like who the dad was, and just really weird, weird circumstances. That's the thing. Twenty three and Me is exposing these people. You can't get away with lying to your family anymore because all you got to do is spit in a tube, and brother, your whole family is exposed, mm-hmm. or you find your family. I'd already found y'all, though, before I did the DNA. And how'd you find us? I got my birth records. And then what did you do? It was your your daughter that was looking us up, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. My little investigator daughter found y'all. The fact that she was able to, what was it, the um, obituary of mom? Yes. That's another one. Obituaries are... Will expose your ass. Yes. And she's good at all that. Uh, she had all y'all's names. <laughs> and then, like, the next day. Really? Were you looking at our pictures and stuff? Mm-hmm. Were you like, yep, that's she us. She had to come over the next day to tell me that our mom had passed already. Oh. So that was hard for her, I think. When you saw mom's picture, did you think that looks like me? Yes. Oh. Yes. A lot of her baby pictures look exactly like me. Exactly. Exactly. I told her yesterday, I'm like, you got all of mom's genes, and we didn't get any. But then everybody on Instagram was like, no, you look just like your mom. And I'm like, okay, I don't see it. I think it's the nose eye area where I really look like her. But you, your whole face looks like her. It's wild. But I look more like you when you were in high school. Yeah. Or younger. Between elementary school and high school. A lot of our children, our kid pictures, we look alike. We had the same bowl haircut that was, just looked like it was cut by someone who'd never cut hair before. Mine did. Yours looked even. And that was because Ozell, our grandmother, um... Would love to cut my hair with the uh, sewing scissors. Because she said, I can't see your eyes. It's like, I'm trying to hide them from you, bitch. And if you say, you shouldn't call your grandma a bitch, okay, we'll go back in time and see grandma, and you'd be calling her a bitch, too. Not a nice lady. 
See, I didn't grow up with any of that. Lucky. My family was all sweet like me. She acting, she acting sweet over here, but she is. <laughs> she playing. <laughs> And brother's filling up his vape so that he, when he comes on the show, he can do vape clouds. He's out. Oh, no. Brother's out of vape juice. Well, you better hurry up. It takes him a few minutes to mix it together. You smoke pina colada? That's Justina Armistead's favorite drink. Pina colada. It does smell. Whose Facebooks did you find? Sis's, mine, and Andrew's? Andrew doesn't have one. Oh. No, y'all had one. Only yours, I guess. But what did you send Sis a message on? Telephone? I got on the whitepages.com app. (laughs) Shout out to (laughs) whitepages.com. And they'll tell you the last 20 places you've lived and the yes. last 50 people you've ever known in your life. And gave me her phone number. Oh, she has. Let's say it live on air. BR549. <laughs> oh, sis would love it. Hello. Hello. Who's no this? Problem, Who's this? Oh, I don't know this. And then she will screenshot it and text me and say, who is this person? <laughs> After she's talked to that person for 20 minutes, who is this person? Sis was in a in a group chat the other day with uh, several people and then said, um, what did she say? How did this person get my number? And it was just because they were in a group chat. That person wasn't actually texting her. They were texting the group chat. And says, how did that person get my number? Well, I got my new phone, so I don't have any names marked in that picture. Like that. <laughs> yes, sister washed her phone. Sis washed her phone in a pocket. Pocket? Did you have it in a pocket? Okay, so that's far worse than me thinking it was just in your pocket. You actually physically put it in the washing yeah, machine. And she said it was spinning around and it had locked so she couldn't open it. Yep. That's a cool story. Sorry to hear that, sis. Sis got a new phone, though. She's up to an Apple iPhone 7, so she's getting closer to and closer to the newest models. Oh, my back hurts. We're going to have to wrap up soon. Well, it's just because my butt is so big, I can't. My butt is, my back isn't flush. Huh? Special three-hour episode. I'm afraid they won't be able to hear sis because she's acting like she's shy. I'm just a shy, I'm just a little shy girl. (laughs) Hold on. I didn't grow up, oh, I didn't grow up with y'all's craziness. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news from Karen, she didn't grow up with our craziness. So did you always walk around showing your tits, or was that just something you did for us? I didn't do that till later in life. Okay. <laughs> and what was it that prompted you to do that? Just having fun. Having fun. I mean, that's when I... If you got it, flaunt it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> My thing is, even if you don't got it, flaunt it. Because like me, I don't got it, but I flaunt it. And I... You flaunt it just, well. I just do it, you know? I just flaunt it. Because I ain't trying to be out here acting like I ain't got it. Need any goats now? Episode four. Go back to a ref- to refresh. She had an orange blouse on. I had an orange blouse on. <laughs> love orange, love yellow, and love... um maroon type colors my favorite's pink and black those are your favorite colors yes well 
if you ever wanted to know what her favorite colors were. <laughs> if you wanted to buy her a Christmas <laughs> present, get her something pink and black. Yes. Thanks for the toy. You're welcome. I mean, that is a very specific, very specific gift. Where'd you get this? My friend Amber was with me, and we had just watched that podcast. And we bought it at where you throw the rolls. Lambert's Cafe yes. in Lambert's. Uh, is it Sykeston? Yes. She is. Uh, today she told us she has four best friends. Do your four best friends know that you have? Yes. Four best friends, so they all know about each other. Yes. And one of them is Amber, and I met Amber at the show. Yes. Um, very nice gal. Whoa. Condenser air conditioner's coming on, folks. Shout out to Amber. <laughs> you don't have to turn it off. It's fine. Nobody's probably listening at this point anyway. It's hour and 27 minutes in. Oh, a two-part series? What is this, Falcon Crest? <laughs> That's an old reference, Falcon Crest. Did you watch Thornbirds as a kid? It was a mini series about a priest that fell in love with a child. And as a child, this was my favorite show. What does that tell you about me? <laughs> the y'all were warped. Yes. <laughs> he was a hot priest. He was a hot priest, and I was in love with a couple of priests at our Catholic school. Is that weird? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I watched things like General Hospital and <laughs> Days of Our Lives, Lawrence Wilk. What was your favorite show as a child? What cartoon did you like? Did you ever watch that one with Bozo the Clown? That's a little bit older than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What was a what was a child show when you were a child? I don't even remember. I don't I don't know. Bozo the Clown. What a re- Tom and Jerry and stuff. Tom and Jerry was good program. You know, we always we had the cartoons on Saturday morning. What kind of cereal would you eat when you were sitting there watching them? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Anybody else in the live audience like Fruit Loops? Yes. Sis Jacks. does. Sis likes Apple Jacks. Uh, Kim doesn't like cereal apparently. <laughs> and we'll ask brother when he gets on the program. My favorite cereal King back Biden. in the day was Trix before they changed the formula. Yeah. So I liked it when they had all the harmful dyes and stuff in it. That's when it was really good. But Crackling Oat Brand, yeah, that's probably my favorite right now. Oh, it's so good. Get you some Crackling. I wish this show was sponsored by Crackling Oat Brand. Oh, Grape Nuts will tear your life away. Snap, Crackle, Pop. Rice Krispies are good if you put a pound of sugar on them. But otherwise, don't put them near me. It is pretty fascinating science, though, that you could put them in there and they would actually snap, crackle, and pop. How do you think they did that? I mean, it definitely is science. I think those things were, were genetically modified to snap, crackle, and pop. And then they said, that's such a great sound. Let's get three mascots and name them Snap, Crackle, crackle. Pop, Pop. I mean, it just, the marketing for, for uh, what's it called? What is that cereal called? Snap, Crackle, Pop. It is co- Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. I right. like King Vitamin. Sis likes King Vitamin, and that is a cereal that's very close to... Captain Crunch. Both of them will destroy the roof of your mouth and cause you to scrape the first two layers of epidermis from the roof of your mouth. But delicious. And as a kid, you don't care if it's destroying your inside of your mouth. No. Now I, I think I would think twice if I before I ate Captain Crunch. And of course, Captain Crunch was an older gentleman who was a pirate. Right? Captain Crunch, was he a pirate or just the captain the of a captain. ship? Of a ship? Just a regular ship? He had a mustache like that friend of yours. 
<laughs> Brett B- Brett Boone official. He had a Brett Boone official mustache. And did he have a um, a hook hand? Because that would be if he had a hook hand, but it was replaced with a spoon. That would be cool. Because then he could eat cereal pretty much any time. She's. I think she's looking up the picture of, of Captain Crunch. Uh, he does have a spoon, but there's no hook. Okay, so is the Maybe spoon... the hook turned into a spoon. Uh, that would be cool. So this man who's a captain of a riverboat, I'm assuming, does he uh, look like a pirate or just a ship captain? Uh, captain. The ship captain, Mr... He made his own cereal. Mr. Crunch made his own cereal... While on a boat. While on a boat, maybe a river boat, and called himself Captain Crunch. Because I don't think that was his real name. <laughs> we can't see anything. Uh-oh, I just clicked out of it. I don't know what I did, but I need to... Okay, it said a major mistake on Captain Crunch. Okay, first of all, I've been wrong. I've been saying Captain Crunch. It's Cap in Crunch, okay? <laughs> Something on his uniform has finally been fixed. The stripes on the cereal's mascot sleeves are getting a long overdue update. All right, I don't want to read this whole article, but I I don't know what happened, but... He is a captain. He has um, tight white tights on, boots, a blue jacket, and a beautiful blue hat with a C on it. And it, does that stand for captain or crunch? Sexy man. You think he's sexy? If there was a chance that you could somehow bring Captain Crunch into real life, would you bang him? He's not too old for you? No. <laughs> he looks like an elderly gentleman. Well, he's only two years older than me. He's only two years older than me. Okay. So he's not old. If you guys out there know Captain Crunch and you can <laughs> hook him up with my sister, let us know in the comments. God, that flag keeps scaring me. It's been very nice in Missouri this weekend. It's been beautiful. The weather's been really beautiful. It has. We have enjoyed the fires. Campfires every night. Yes. And what I found out about Karen is that she doesn't like to do the normal way of, of starting a fire by using <laughs> twigs and maybe paper. What she'll do at home is um, throw gasoline on it. And she said that her gasoline tank or... The end of the the hole on the end where the gas comes out Mm -hmm. is like that little. Because it's been burned off, she said. (laughs) Yes. And she talks about us having a warped childhood, except she throws gasoline on a fire. And it comes up into the can, which could cause a potential explosion. And you're not scared about that? No. Wow, what a badass. <laughs> God damn. Oh! I'm more scared I'm so, of what I've thrown in the fire that I didn't remember throwing in the fire. Like what? Dead bodies? Like batteries or weird stuff. Citronella candles. Yes. She yes. said she threw a citronella candle in there the other day. It was bubbling. <laughs> and carrying on. It was loud. Well, I'm going to have you um, go back to the live audience section. <laughs> okay. Because we're running low on audience. Thanks for coming on the storage podcast. Thank you for inviting me. Have a blessed day. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is, give her a round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the much anticipated. It's the Pilot Grove Bad Boy. 
put as many as you want in. I put zero. You put zero in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast, my brother. How are you doing? Good, but make sure you keep that mic up by uh, up by your mouth so we can hear you. Like this? Exactly like that. And that is the most words I've heard him say in the in this past week. Could you just hold up your vape thing? This one? It's not too big. How, how much juice does that hold? 30 mils. Could you get a good a good vape cloud going? Let me turn on some music and you get a good vape cloud going. That was incredible, folks. That was. Wow. It's better in the winter. I mean, the music, you guys couldn't hear the music, but the music was rocking, and that vape cloud was so big (laughs) that I couldn't even see the camera. (laughs) It's got an RC car battery in it. Um, Okay. (laughs) That's when you're serious about your vape, is when you have a battery that's large enough to... Fuel an RC car. It's on 76 watts. Have you ever thought about quitting? Yes. <laughs> and will you? Yeah. When? Uh, I don't know. Okay. That's legit. Because it barely has any nicotine in it. Oh, it doesn't? You just do it for the straight pina colada I flavor? I enough nicotine in to keep me from strangling people. Oh, you're going to str- You can <laughs> strangle people? Well, yeah, because of nicotine. Cause... Well, I, I quit... Uh, nicotine and I, I didn't strangle anybody. Well, I quit smoking the month after Gabby was born. Oh. So that's why I started vaping. Okay. And oftentimes you'll hear that vaping is just as bad. Well, I don't blow it in the face or anything. Well, I'm just saying for you. Yes. If you could pick one cereal mascot to bang, which one would it be? Uh, I don't know. Well, think about it. We'll sit here and wait. Not too many mascots. You got to keep that mic up by you so we can hear I you. I guess the cornflakes one, <laughs> the corn pops one, the chicken. <laughs> corn pops or corn flakes? Whichever the one that has the chicken. So you, <laughs> you're saying you would bang a chicken? I guess so. Can somebody look up the? The chicken mascot? I thought it was Tony the Tiger. No. Cornflakes. Oh, it's a rooster. Well, I don't know if I could put that on here because that sounds like, what's that called when you bang an animal? Why did you, why didn't you pick a human? Because I couldn't think anything else. Why couldn't you pick like Captain Crunch? There's nobody else, though. All right, we've got a... Who's a human? Count Chocula. Count Chocula. That's a cool guy. He's a vampire. About, I don't know. Frankenberry. Frank I guess the ghost. <laughs> Which cereal was the ghost? Boo Berry. Let's just forget that he said the one with the chicken. <laughs> I couldn't think of one. <laughs> I think it's a rooster. <laughs> and he said it so quickly that it makes me think he's actually thought about this before. I couldn't think of one, so I'd... that's a safe one. Keep that microphone. Well, I don't think the chicken is a safe one. I'm just being honest with you. I don't think the chicken's a I said, which cereal mascot do you want to bang? And you said, I guess the chicken one. The corn flake. And then he said corn pops, but isn't that a different one? I think so. There's no lady cereal. Yeah, there isn't. I don't think there's many lady cereal mascots now that I think of it. I can't think of one. And we need to change that. We need more female women 
serial mascots. Oh, God, look at the corn pops guy. Jesus Christ. I don't see him. Oh, the you don't see cowboy. him? You can't see that giant hat? <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a rootin' tootin' good time. If you could go back in time, any part of history, and I'm just going to think you're going to say... Ask Little House on the Prairie. You would go to Little House on the Prairie. Well, that that makes sense. I'm glad you didn't pick another tragedy. Because then you can go to the general store and uh, trade your three-legged horse for a 50-pound bag of flour. Now, I never saw that. Was that something that happened on Little House of the Prairie? Three-legged horse? No, they, they trade stuff for... I never saw them trade a... Th- are, so are you saying that the horse had three legs because something happened to it? Or was born that way, I guess. Wow. Got a weird animal thing going on, brother. No, I don't. I guess that's why you're the Pilot Grove bad boy. No. Does anybody listen to this podcast? A couple, like maybe a hundred people. Oh, well, that's okay. A hundred people will now know that you liked you. <laughs> I didn't say that I did. <laughs> I just couldn't think anything else. And I thought that'd be funny. <laughs> Ten, I, sis, I was kidding. Oh. I was. I didn't want him to be nervous about everyone knowing that he's a chicken. <laughs> What's your favorite childhood memory? Uh, playing in the Hyde Park uh, Pond. Playing in the Hyde Park Pond. Yes. Okay. With the shopping carts in it. It had shopping carts in it? Yes. Uh, the only thing I remember about the Hyde Park Pond is that it had crawdads in it. Yes. And that's disgusting. Playing in the Hyde Park Pond. One of the my favorite childhood memories of, of my brother is that um, he does this thing that we call the turd shooter. And he will get on all fours like he's doing a yoga pose and then do his back. It's like the cat pose where you do your back up like this. Yeah. And we call it the turd shooter because it looks like every time his butt goes up, a turd would fly out. And he did it for Chelsea Lynn in Columbia, and she was blown away um, that a 40-some-odd-year-old man, because he, he acted like he wasn't going to do it. I'm like, please do the turd shooter. Please do it. No, no. And all of a sudden, he's like, okay. And he's like giving his phone away, taking his, putting his shirt up, getting it ready for the turd shooter. It's just funny imagining turds flying out of his butt. Uh, the audience knows it could happen. Though. It could. If you had enough Taco Bell, that wouldn't be a turd. That'd be straight diarrhea. Probably. Um, the audience does know that our family would stick our fingers by our butts and ask the other sibling if they wanted to smell Buddy Ray's perfume. Yes. Uh, he but he still does that. Kim says he still does it. So. Uh, it's fine that, that he does it, but the fact that you probably fall for it every time, you don't fall for it anymore. That was the thing. We knew it was going to smell like poop, but we would sniff it anyway. Why did we do that? I have no idea. You knew it was going to have doo-doo smell on it. And then you go, oh, it smells like shit. Yeah, it smells like shit. Just like it did the last 100 times we did to it. Yes. Then we used to make those cassette tapes. What were the cassette tapes? When we were kids at Buddy Ray's house. Oh, yeah. And then we'd cuss on it. We thought we were really cool, you know, because that's how we recorded ourselves was on a tape. And I know one day I said, shit. Like, really soft in there. And my grandma had went back. And it's kind of like how parents look at kids' phones now. She went back and listened to what we did. She's like, I'm really disappointed in you. I heard you say a bad word. And I was like, I'm sorry, Grandma. I was just 
<laughs> trying to be cool. There's some old tapes of you reading books, and man, uh, I could say this about me and you. Uh, neither one of us knew how to read. <laughs> um, nope. Just the worst reading I've ever heard. Yes. Both of us. It's like, the boy w- went to... It's like, who wants to listen to these kids read? Jesus Christ. That's probably why they put us in the room and gave us a tape recorder, because they're like, these kids don't know how to read. Why do they read like that? Because we probably didn't know how to read. We didn't. <laughs> but Grandma would be like, go read a book and put it on the tape recorder. Or make us sing religious songs. Yes. What's your favorite song from Holy Trinity? Uh, I don't know. The Indian song? What's that? Uh, I forgot. Okay. How can it I'll be? I'll think your... of it here in a minute. What about this one? And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. They have the big organ in the background. Big organ. The church that we went to had a huge, it was like an old, like. They'd have that creepy church in the basement that was just lit up by candles. Huh? You don't remember that? In the basement? Yeah. That was just for like the Saturday. That was the church hall. No, it was underneath the basement of that one building. Under the rectory. The rectory? I never was there. Why were you in the basement of the rectory? I was there every Thursday. They had a chapel, but I never was in the basement of the rectory. Yeah, it was creepy because there's like 100 candles in there. That's all I was lit up by. <laughs> oh, why was I never in there? I don't know. We were. Who's We. Like our class, they take our class in there every Thursday, like morning. Why? And we have to sing songs and stuff. I don't know. We went to a chapel, which was over by the rectory, but wasn't under the rectory. No. And it's where we did confession. Yeah. Do you remember going to confession? Yeah. And what kind of things would you say? Uh, I put gum on my sister's hair or something. Like something stupid. stupid like, yeah. Yes. I'd just be like, I cussed out my brother. Um. And he always knew who we were. Even when you'd sit by the screen where they can't see you, he'd be like, okay, let me, you need to do four Hail Marys. Stop cussing out your brother. Like, God, how did he know it was me? It's because there were 12 kids in the whole school. I'm concerned that you were underneath the rectory um, with the candles. It's like something out of The Exorcist. That, I mean, that's spooky. Did you ever go, okay, so on top of our Catholic school, that's where the nuns lived. Did you ever go up there in the nun part? We went up there. We used to go up there when we, um, we were doing something for our first communion. We went up there and we were like, we were looking around like, whoa. It's kind of like when kids see the the teacher's lounge. And they come down there with the rulers in their hands. Well, I never got hit by a ruler. Did you? A couple times. What? By who? By the nuns. Which one? I don't know which one it was, because I got still got marks on my arm. God, I had a different childhood. That's what you get for being bad at school. Did you ever get a summons? No. They had they had what was called summons when you got in trouble, and your parents the, had to sign it. I remember the lice lines. They would check you for lice, and they oh. put you in the. You have lice. Go in this line, but man, the lice day was my favorite because when the nurse would be like. Doing this, and I'd just be like, oh. And scold. Crooked spine day, lice day, when the people were touching you, man. Yes. When they checked you for scoliosis. So they'd bend you over and have to do touch your back. And it felt so good. And you're just like, maybe not all people do that. And then they set, put you in separate lines. Like, you know, who the kids who had lice. And- we yeah. never had lice. I don't know how we didn't. Never had lice. I've never had it in my life. I've never had pubic lice. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. There's a Mr. T cereal. <laughs> Crispy sweet corn and oat cereal. And it had Mr. T Snickers and stickers inside. Here's the deal. Because of the hierarchy of the children... I never got the toy out of the cereal. 
I pity the fool who eat my cereal. Is that what he said? <laughs> yep. I never got the cereal toy. Sometimes it'd be outside the bag on the bottom. Yeah, it would trick you. But we would take our dirty, filthy arm and put it all the way in the cereal to try to get the toy. It'd be like a spoon or something. Something stupid. I want the toy! No, I want the toy! And we'd sit there and eat the cereal and stare at the cereal box. And then we'd pour the cereal in there and put like two cups of sugar in it. Yep. That's what you do. It'd be like, there's enough sugar in there. And then you'd run around the neighbor going, ah, for four hours. Whoa. I mean, pretty much. What kind of big wheel did you have? The one with the water gun in the front. See, I don't remember that one. Sis, can you fact check that and see if they had a water gun big wheel? They did have one because they put little things on the sides you, like brakes. They had, um... The, the brake was on the side. The handlebars had, mine had streamers that came out. Did yours have streamers? Yeah. It was pretty cool because then you could tell, like, how fast you were going by how high up the streamers were going. And then you could hear them from a mile away if you're right. coming down the road. <laughs> what do you see, sis? I don't know why they stopped making those. Did they stop making a big wheel? I mean, and that's the greatest name for it, Big Wheel. It had a big wheel on the front. Wow, it's real. We, and I think that's Andrew right there in that picture. Big? Probably. Is this? That's probably the only one that had one. Wow, that one was cool. Yeah. <laughs> How come, how'd you get the water in there? You pour it on the top, they... Whole front end was a water tank. <laughs> wow, that's cool. And if you want to start a fire, use diesel, not gasoline. Because no, you don't will, use either one of them because well, it's not safe. Diesel's like a lot of has a lot of oil in it, so it'll... don't be encouraging people to do unsafe acts. It's not unsafe. That's how they start bonfires and stuff. Well, this is not a bonfire. You got four. What are those things called? Cinder blocks. You've got four cinder blocks, and that's the fire pit. Okay, maybe six six cinder blocks. <clears throat> it's three foot by four. What was your favorite childhood meal that you would make? That I would make? Yeah. Probably the armored chili. With what? With cheese. And Two slices of cheese. Where was the first slice? On the bottom of the plastic <laughs> bowl. <laughs> You can make anything with that chili. You can make burritos and tacos. Get close to that microphone. He would, that was really doing it up. He would take a slice of craft cheese and place it on the bottom of the bowl. And then mix the other slice. And put the, then put the chili on top of that slice. And you'd put another slice on top, right? Melt the other slice in the the chili in the pan. (laughs) Do you eat armored chili still? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> man that slice on the bottom though was the thing that really kicked it remember grandma had those cups with the frogs on the bottom i sure do it was encourage you to to be hydrated because you'd want to drink your whole drink so that you would see um, the frog, see the the frog. And at some point it broke off, and I was never the same after that. And they tried to glue it back and just didn't. It's like, yeah, you want to see your little frog finish all your drink? Be like Robitussin or something. Huh? Be like a cup full of Robitussin. <laughs> something like that. Something to put your ass out. Yes. No, I don't think Grandma Hank would have ever drugged us. That would have been something Ozell did, but she never did. Because she, be, she couldn't beat our asses if we were sleeping. You know, so she wanted to keep us awake. Because they'd make us eat all that okra and stuff. Oh, God, I can't. You can't get up from the table and be like 11 o'clock at night and still be at the table. I keep pushing it toward him and then he goes back. It just (laughs) fell. We had a technical malfunction. Oh, my, my, this one is out of memory, memory card. So what does that mean? I'm going to set my phone up for the last few minutes. Hey, sis, would you put this over there for a little bit?
Thanks, sis. Yeah. Is that good? Thank you. Is that better? Uh, can you tilt it more toward us and then uh, press the record? No, you can't. Is it still so on? we'll just say goodbye. We talked for two hours, so our, my memory card filled up. Can you, you just want to hold it for a minute and we'll be done. Well, thanks for coming on the podcast, brother. So I'm done then? Or? Yeah, you're done. He wants to talk about right. stuff, I think. No, but I'm fine. We could do this again sometime. Uh, I just don't want it's this all to run out of space, and then we're really screwed, and I'll have to delete everything. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming on the podcast, brother. Thank you. Howdy. Oh, do you have any shout outs? Uh, to Good Buddy. Who? Good Buddy. Who's that? My, he used to work with me. His name was Good Buddy? Yes. Does he have Buddy Ray's perfume? No, his name's Roger. Shout out to Roger. Uh, he used to work with him, and his name's Good Buddy. And that's a cool name. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining Sword Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Whoops, wrong button. Sword <laughs> oh, Podcast, yeah.